going to have to take the boat. Well, I want my car. I guess I'm stupid. Seth's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. But you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same man who killed Baca, who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But gestures carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a potion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money.
The Loire welcome you. We had this kind of money because of all the work you've done. Take it. You deserve it. I might finally be able to see a veto. Actually, I'm gonna put my money back. Oh my goodness. Seems there's a gentleman out there. And she's even listening right now. Who police are referred to as a violent agitator. Not exactly right. Police are actually referred to him as a violent black agitator. Our old chief Earl Wilson has this to say. The Negroes must be guided with love. And that hand must not be afraid to be raised in the situation called. So while we get all kinds of opinions on who this Alright, let's go see Donovan, man. Coming through. This is a new ship. Watch yourself, man. This area is for employees only. Debating on whether to do that one.
Mm. Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The Butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri's the one who took over Point for Dunn, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought it'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get point for them back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, you better be worth all this trouble. Should I just do all three? The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut, and then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can not leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. I'm gonna go to <coughs> Vito first. Here heard about a little invention called air conditioning? Christ. London, England, Wandsworth Prison. The lawyer for James Earl Ray announced that if his client is extradited, he will plead innocent by reason of insanity in the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Colored civil rights leader Dr. King was shot by a sniper on April 4th as he stood on a Memphis hotel balcony. All right, I'll be right back. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video or continuation.
I'm gonna stop it right there for tonight because I'm gonna watch some Friday Night Smackdown but don't worry it, it's only me who's stopping because I'm gonna be a continuation alright bye you guys thanks for watching peace alright let me make sure everything's alright so once I get to video I'll end it there so I can put it with the other video How's everybody doing this fine day? I know it's on the same video, but for me, it's a new day. Let's go see what Vito wants. <clears throat> I think he's locked up, and then you gotta save him. Get a word about how it's going in there. How you think? Vito's taking his beating. If Greg oh, just let us kill poor son of a bitch, get over it. Huh? Got a beat on him! Empty. Just like <sighs> That's kind of weird. I can't see anything for a second. I was watching back. I think. I think one of the guns I was looking at does have silencer. I'm down it. Never walking out of here, boy. You ain't ever walking out of here, boy. Fuck out of me. Can I get a resupply? Ah!
So I can bring the dude for weapons? Uh, that's a good, good thing to know. I'll show you the weapon that I think has uh, the silencer on it. Hopefully it doesn't take me too far. Can I get a resupply on River Road? Going at you. Hang tight. Really? You gonna stop there? Oh my god, dude. Get the fuck out. See anything you need? Show me what you got. Yes, All right, where was it? I think it was here. Eight thousand dollars, fifteen. Don't know if I really want to do that right now. I don't know if I want to do that right now, so I probably won't. Call me if you need me. Getting worried about how it's going in there. How do you think? Rito's taking his beating. We ain't alone. Too late to run now, boy. God damn it! Let's fucking die already! Fuck has got me pinned! No! Got him, dude. I think I'm doing better than I did before. That was a cool death right there. All right, let's get this again. I'm gonna piss on your corpse. Fuck you, mother. Oh, God, Ain't no one feeling around to care about that place, no. We just keep up. That was idiot of me to do, but I wanted to do it, so. Shit. You can have him when I'm. Pull him off me. I 
Oh my gosh, what the heck? Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. Bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. It's the worst place to shoot a fellas in the forehead. Skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. Figured if you fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. I'm guessing he didn't go for it. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. That money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop, make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Nah, I don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, you pretty much whittled me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. What's your partners now? As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. Nobody kills that scumbag with me. No, I'm Who gonna kill him. Oh. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys have been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. Alright, so I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully that wasn't a long video. I need to get your Vargas painting though, bro, so Conchi areas. Hey Lincoln. I'm uh still trying to get this place back in order. Yeah, I'm going to take your Vargas painting. Anyway, now let me go back outside. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay and some of me talking. I don't know. Anyway, peace. Bye, y'all.